This is a bypass method for the seamless uh, password for the Tecra 8000 and other series. Now, these old laptops had a back door requiring a parallel port device that uh, is, basically allows you to hotwire and bypass a, a boot password. And uh, although online, the people have described doing it using a hacked up parallel port, which I didn't have extra of, um, I found that if you wired it using paper clips and make sure that only the correct um, wires touch as per the uh, wiring instructions online, you can actually get to bypass the CMOS password. So I've already built the device, but I'm going to um, demonstrate once again how to wire it. There is a cable, port number five, requires a single wire because it's a triple um, connection. So that one will have to touch one of the other wires. Otherwise, you have to be careful with inserting to not double loop the wires. And then the nice thing about paper clips is that you can form them so that they don't touch. So let's see if we can get this going. So this is going sequentially. The parallel port wiring diagrams are available online. And as a extra, you will see that the, the wider end starts with one, counts up to 13, starts again at 14, and counts up to 25. So that's a sequence that you need to connect to. I will describe the connection sequence online, but let's set the BIOS password now. And interestingly enough on this, it must flash it to an EEPROM somewhere because I tried to um, disconnect the CMOS battery. I tried to short circuit uh, the battery. So there's been no CMOS battery in the system for at least three days, and yet it's kept the BIOS password. And it prevents it from booting up to a floppy drive or um, a CD drive as well. So let me show you. Let's boot this sucker up. So I've already disabled the password. You can see there's no password register. We're just going to register password now. And we'll just set it to Toshiba. Some of the other devices have a back door where you can type in the BIOS password as Toshiba, capital T, no brackets, but in this system it doesn't. So we've set the BIOS password. We'll reboot. It is now registered as having a BIOS password there. Oops, there you go. Now you will see that when we save the changes, password service this type, uh, I don't know. So it seems to not be able to write the password out to a backup disk or somewhere. See if it uh, resets everything in the EEPROM. Uh, and there you go. It's showing. Uh, if I can get this up a bit, you will see that it's asking for a password. And no matter what I type, if you type three incorrect tries, it shuts down the system. Okay. I will now demonstrate. I put in my correct password because I have reset it. It will go into the start and ask you for system disk. There's nothing plugged in right now, so it won't activate it. And removing CMOS battery does not reset this. Like I said, it must flash it into EEPROM somewhere. Interesting, 
that data type like that. Okay, so that demonstrates to the BIOS password set. I can't get in. Look at this thing at this. And now we're going to wire this hot wires up using the parallel port. I could get a better view of it, but I do need to have space to operate. Let's see if I can position it a little bit better. A little bit closer, still not ideal, but good enough. I think you'll understand. So the first one is 1, 5, and 10. Now, the problem is that the 5 is a separate uh, extra wire. This is the triple wire. But uh, so we start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 4 from the end. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so that's going to end up being one five ten. You don't need to put them too tight. These wires have been preformed. I've already bent them into shape so they shouldn't push on each other. The second one is, connection is two eleven. So that's two connecting to number eleven. Again, shove it just in to deep enough to get the connectors. The next one is three and seventeen. So. I cut this short. You'll have to nip some of these uh, uh, paper clips because otherwise they won't fit. But three and 17 are actually fairly close to each other. Um, that's one, two, four on the top, three on the bottom. So there's four in the top, three in the bottom. This brings you down to 317, get it. And there's the contacts. Next one is uh, four. Uh, f um, let's see, four twelve. Let's see, four twelve. I'm gonna move this out a bit because to get a little bit more space. What I've done now is I've bent this wire downwards. So four goes here. Twelve is the second from the end. Okay, and don't put too much pressure. You don't want to. Um, five is the triple wire. We'll come back to that at the end. Six goes to 16. Paper clip. Bend it to size because we have room on this now. And then that leaves the triple one, which is five, one, five, ten. So we go to five. needs to touch that one five ten so let's double check those one five ten is touching uh, and I was holding it in so now let me just bend this in so it puts a little bit of pressure on it so that's easier okay so when I was booting I was holding it down and that seemed to make sure that the connection was in. I don't expect this to have any troubles if you did short it it's uh, probably not gonna boot but I don't expect there to be much trouble Okay, let's see how this boots. Plug. Batch up some error, then go into the CMOS. Press F1, that gets you to the BIOS passwords, which is now gone. And you've now reset your system and you've bypassed the password on this system. Hope that helps.